Hey, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. This video is gonna be an overview of personality disorders. This is just an overview video, so I highly suggest you guys go ahead and watch the upcoming videos uh, that actually are gonna be discussing these personality disorders in depth, okay? So, if you guys don't already know, the, we, have a, uh, we have a playlist on our YouTube channel about psych and uh, psychiatry for the USMLE Step 1. So I highly recommend you guys go check it out. The link is right there. And when you're there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Show your boy some love because I'm posting these videos every single day. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and let's first talk about personality. Personality is a combination of our characteristics and our traits that form our individual identity pretty much our character and this is just something I googled just so you guys have an understanding right everyone has a different type of personality and some people have really nice personalities some people have really nice faces that's just the way uh, life works folks now mainly personality is a fixed pattern of your behavior and how we interact with others now uh, a trait itself is something that's enduring it's a repetitive thinking uh, a repetitive pattern of thinking about the environment right that what your, that's your personality trait. It's what always stays present. It's always there. Now, this can be a positive trait, like someone who's kind, who's confident, who's optimistic. These people may, you know, become mean. They may not have, you know, confidence all the time. They may be pessimistic once in a while. But for the most part, when you look at them as a person, if you look at their personality, they're always kind. They may be, they're always optimistic or confident majority of the time. They're uh, majority of the time they're optimistic. I already said that. Anyways, that is what persists, right? It could also be negative, like someone who's lazy, rude, someone who's a pessimist. These things are constantly there. They may have bursts of you know the opposite, but most of the time they're lazy, rude, pessimistic. So a personality disorder is an inflexible or rigid pattern of behavior that actually causes subjective distress and impaired functioning, right? It's a disorder. There's your personality, but there's a problem with it, right? So the negative trait, it's sort of a negative trait, as you could say, but it actually causes a lot of impaired functioning in their life. And this is egocentric. That's very important to understand. And it usually presents in early childhood. That's when, oh, sorry, early adulthood, around the same time as schizophrenia, right? In the 20s and in the late teens, uh, in the 20s is when these personality disorders start to manifest. So the person usually unaware of what's happening is people around him who realize what's happening. And when we talk more about these personality disorders, you're definitely going to understand what that means. Uh, and it's really difficult to treat these personality disorders, right? There's not really a medication you can give. You kind of have to use cognitive behavioral therapy. But because this is their personality, because this is their personality trait, this is not really going to go away. A lot of this is going to be to teach those persons how to cope with the day-to-day -day life, how to cope in society and be productive in society. That's the main stay of or the main uh, goal of the treatment itself. So when it comes to personality disorders, there's a cluster A personality disorder, which is classified as people who are weird, right? These people are just weird. This includes paranoid personality, schizoid, and schizotypal uh, personalities, right? These are classified as the weird personalities. Cluster B personalities are, are classified as the wild personalities, okay? So we got weird, then we got wild, all right? And these are antisocial, borderline, histrionic, and narcissistic personality disorders. These are the wild personality disorders. And then finally, cluster C are the wacky or the worried personality disorders. Okay, uh, these are going to be people who are avoidant. They don't want to be near anyone. Okay, these are obsessive compulsive personality disorder. We talked about that previously in our OCD video. So go ahead and check that out. We're going to discuss it more in the upcoming video, but uh, on cluster C personality disorder. But this is also a personality disorder and also dependent personality disorder. These are the worried personality disorders. So that's pretty much what we're going to be discussing in the upcoming next three videos. We're going to go through uh, cluster A right here, all of these. Then we're going to go through cluster B, all of these. And then we're going to go to cluster C and uh, talk about them in depth. So go ahead and continue on. Hopefully, uh, this will be very beneficial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you guys don't already know, these videos are also available in a podcast format. So if you guys want to listen to them while you're on the go, you can go ahead and do that. Just go to your uh, favorite podcast service and just search Mad Medicine and we'll pop up. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.